Um, yeah, well, anyway, great to meet everyone. I see definitely see some familiar faces here. Um, my name is Matt Marcus. I'm co-founder at Modern Treasury, where I lead product. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with what we do, we're a payment operations platform. We work with companies that move money in their core product or manage money um, really across any industry. Uh, we're in a bunch of fintech companies, online marketplaces, whether they're B2B or B2C, um, neobanks, cryptocurrency companies, whether they're exchanges or manifestations of banks themselves, um, lending, payroll, et cetera. Um, my co-founders and I, we started the company about three years ago. So our backgrounds were at a company called Lending Home, which is an online mortgage marketplace, online mortgage lender. Um, basically, we saw that moving money is difficult, much like the problems that Move was describing. And also, as you scale, there are other issues that come to play that are related to the things that happen around the money movement. How do you deal with things like fraud related to novella? Um, how do you uh, do reconciliation, actually book journal entries in your accounting system? How do you manage the customer support questions that come up, like where's my money, what's the trace ID, et cetera. Um, and we thought it was silly that companies that wanted to get started had to build all this themselves, that there wasn't something that they could buy off the shelf and just get started to manage the flows of funds. Um, one of the things that we believe since the beginning too is that we didn't want to be in the flow of funds. So one thing that you know, is different than some platforms about modern treasuries that we aren't in the flow of funds and not sure parlance. We're a third party service provider. Um, we're one API and platform and we connect into uh, pretty much any corporate bank that our customers want to use. And so to date, we have about a dozen banks that we support on our platform, um, ranging from large banks like JP Morgan Chase and Wells Fargo down to smaller banks that support more niche companies. Um, and, you know, we add banks pretty much constantly every quarter um and yeah so you know at a high level that's what we do as a company um what we wanted to show today was uh, real-time payments so you know on our platform we support a number of different payment types um people do ach payments through us flyers there's some proprietary bank uh formats like sen at uh, silvergate um we do eft in canada fax in the uk um, but one thing that we're really excited about is bringing real-time payments to the U.S. This is something that, you know, people have been uh, waiting for. Uh, ACH has been getting faster, but still is an instant. Um, and, you know, there's obviously push to card. Uh, there's Fed now, and then there's the RTP system. So what I'm going to show is the uh, real-time payment system that the clearinghouse has built. So this has been live for a few years now. Uh, some companies like PayPal and Digit use it to disperse funds instantly. 24-7, uh, 365. We just had a banking holiday two days ago and, uh, for Indigenous Peoples Day, and our customers were using it to pay out people instantly. Um, so it's something that we're excited about. Um, and I'll show a demo where uh, I'll disperse funds to two of my bank accounts. And then we actually have a demo where everyone here can pay themselves a dollar uh, using real-time payments and see it in action. So we'll do that for everyone as well. Um, so, you know, just to hop in here, uh, I think, can everyone see my screen all right? I'll assume silence is yes. Um, so, actually, I'll start over here. Uh, and also just for anyone, you know, we have our site as well, our API docs that are public on here and the, the documentation around real-time payments lives under a section we call payment orders. Um, so I'm gonna show, uh, doing an RTP to two bank accounts. I actually opened up a, a Chase bank account because Ben had a good idea to race two banks and see which one posts the real-time payment faster. Um, so you know, you're all seeing my bank accounts. Um, but you know, essentially, here's my bank statement currently at Chase. Uh, this is my personal bank statement, so not corporate modern treasury one. Uh, you can see this is an RTP I did yesterday. Uh, it's just going to be the same thing. So this is the statement descriptor that I used, uh, and this is one I did earlier today. So we'll know that this one is already here. And then in Bank of America, I have nothing processing right now, although this is the one that I did yesterday as well. Um, so if I go over here to Postman, um, I'll go ahead and, or well, so I have two API calls here. They look essentially the same. So this is live in our app. Um, you can see the type of payment is RTP. These are in cents, so this is one dollar. Um, these are uh, this is our account. So we we do RTP through JP Morgan Chase for ourselves, and so this is the account we're originating our payments out of. 
I'd already set up some bank accounts for myself. So this is my account at, at Bank of America. I have another one for Chase. And this is the remittance information that I'm going to attach. Um, so this is out of the box, uh, works for anyone in the same way. Um, so I'll go ahead and initiate this API call. I can see I got a 201 here and that it worked. Um, so this is the Bank of America one. I'll do the Chase one too real quick. So that way we make sure that one doesn't really lag behind another 201. Um, so yeah, this is the fun part now. We'll see if they both are truly instant uh, because usually they are, but the bank systems don't necessarily always communicate instantly. Um, but I do see here at Chase, I did get this other, R the second RTP, so this came in. Bank of America is slower, so it's not quite instant. We'll see if it comes in in a second. Um, and one interesting thing to call out those, you know, similar to other payment types, the full remittance information isn't here initially. So, you know, we see this is the same transaction here. Uh, this still won't show up until uh, the following day. So this shows a little bit of the banks and their systems uh, still being a little bit more on the cadence of, uh, you know, previous day settlement and um, not pulling in all the information that they could get through the RTP payment. Um, but, you know, this will post still at the end of the day. The funds are made available to me now. Um, some things that, or we'll wait for this to come into Bank of America, um, some things to talk about with RTP uh, that make it different from ACH uh, or other payment schemes for that matter. There are still limitations. It's capped at $100,000 per payment um, and uh, it's credit only right now. There actually is no debit type in RTP. There's a request for payment. So it functions like uh, Venmo where you would request that someone send you funds and then they would accept or reject it, which means that the person that you're requesting funds from is in effect crediting you. Um, this also means that all these, all their transactions are irreversible. Um, so there's no concept of returns, payments either succeed or fail synchronously. Um, in fact, in order to originate an RTP payment, you need to have sufficient funds, which isn't necessarily something that is true for other payment types or the bank won't uh, fail it synchronously for you. Um, there are funny edge cases too, like when I opened this Chase Bank account, um, it wasn't registered yet. And so the initial RTP payment I did to this account failed. Um, there was a mismatch and I think it triggered some bank internal race condition. Um, but after I waited an hour, I was able to pay it in real time. Um, and yeah, if you want to reverse a transaction, the originating bank has to request that the receiving bank uh, return the funds. Um, request for payment is not live yet. It probably will be in the next year or two, but um, you know, this is something we're excited about that is live in production. Um, yeah, Bank of America is spotty. So this is showing too, I think some of the gaps on real-time payments is that um, currently it's not necessarily perfect. Um, sometimes the funds do show up instantly. Sometimes they don't. Uh, it might take another five minutes. Um, for everyone else who's here, uh, we do have something we call the dollar demo. Uh, this is the full URL. I can, I can send it out or um, or shorter URLs if you do moderntreasury.com slash DB. Um, this will redirect you to it. And so basically you can go on here and you can put in some, put in your name, your legal name. Um, you can put in your email and then you can connect your bank account via Plaid. I saw some Plaid folks or Bruno on the call. Um, so we do support this here. Uh, or you can enter your bank details manually, just put in your routing and account number uh, and you know, click to get a buck. Um, you do need to have a bank that supports receiving real-time payments, which uh, a good proxy for that is if it's a big bank. Uh, so if you, you know, have a bank account from a neobank, odds are you probably can't get it. Um, but you know, any major bank, you'll likely be able to get it and it'll either succeed or fail synchronously, so you'll know. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it.